In today's class, we will learn the algorithm and flowchart of finding the greatest number among four given numbers. And if we can understand this logic properly, then we can find the greatest, even the smallest number among any number of given numbers. So let's get started. So to understand that logic, what we will do, we will take four numbers and we will divide this scenario in four cases. Case 1 is when number 1 is the greatest number and this is an example where we can see number 1 has 8 which is greater than number 2 which is greater than number 3 and which is also greater than number 4. So this will be our logic for the first case or first scenario. That means when number 1 is greater than number 2 and number 1 is greater than number 3 and number 1 is greater than number 4, then we can conclude that number 1 is the greatest number. Then case number 2, when number 2 is the greatest and for that I have taken this set of values. So here we can see that number 2 is greater than number 3 and greater than number 4, but it is less than number 1. So if the logic where number 2 is greater than number 3 as well as number 2 is greater than number 4, that logic is satisfied, then we don't need to check for whether number 2 is greater than number 1 or not because it has to be greater than number 1. Otherwise, if number 2 was less than number 1, then it would have satisfied case number 1 or the first scenario. So here for case 2, the logic that we will check will be whether number 2 is greater than number 3 and number 2 is greater than number 4 or not. If that is satisfied, then we will conclude that number 2 is the greatest number. Then case 3. Case 3 where number 3 is the greatest. So here is the set of values. So what we can see here is number 3 is greater than number 4. But that is at the same time is also greater than number 1 and number 2. But we don't need to check for that because as I said for the previous case that if number 3 was less than number 2 then it would have satisfied case number 2. And if number 3 was less than number 2 and number 1 then it would have satisfied case number 1. So we don't have to check with respect to number 1 and number 2 with respect to number 4 is sufficient in this case. Now case 4 is when number 4 is the greatest and if all other logics, all other conditions have failed already and if we are checking among 4 numbers then by default the 4th digit or 4th number has to be the greatest number. And this logic we will incorporate through our algorithm as well as flowchart. So in the algorithm the first step as we know will be start then we will input all the 4 numbers that we will check and then the first logic that we have learned just now. So we will check whether A means the number 1 is greater than B means number 2 and at the same time A is greater than C and A is greater than D or not. If it is yes then we will conclude that A is the greatest number and accordingly we will display the message and we will go to step 6. Step 6 means this is the end of the execution. But if this logic fails, then we will go to the next step, which is supposed to be the step 4. And there what we will check, as we have already seen, there we will check number 2 with respect to number 3 and number 4. So we will check whether B is greater than C and B is greater than D or not. We don't need to check with respect to A, as I already explained the logic. Now, if this condition is satisfied, if the result is yes or true, then our conclusion will be that B is the greatest number accordingly we will display the message and we will go to the step 6 which will end the execution. Otherwise if it fails, if the result is no or false then we will go to the next step which is supposed to be step 5 and there we already know that what we will check. We will check number 3 with respect to number 4 and this time we will not check with respect to number 1 and number 2. So if the result is again yes then C will be the greatest number and we will print the message accordingly and if it fails that means we are left with only one number which is the fourth number and here it is D. 
so our conclusion will be d is the greatest number and we have checked all the cases so we will end our execution so last step will be to stop now this logic we will see through 2d representation so first step is start accordingly we have used the block then we will input all the numbers a b c d then then as per the algorithm we have checked whether a is greater than b and c and d or not if it is yes then a is the greatest number keep that checking accordingly and we will use this decision making block and if the result is yes then we will display that a is the greatest number and we will stop our execution but if it fails if it is no then what we will do we will check for number two with respect to number three and number four and if the result is yes then we will display that b is the greatest number and we will stop our execution but if it fails then then we know that we will check for number three with respect to number four and if that is satisfied if the result is yes then we will print that c is the greatest number and we will stop our execution but again if it fails then we are left with only one option that is d is the greatest number and accordingly we will print or we will display that message and again we will end our execution and that's all about the algorithm and flowchart of finding greatest number so if you have understood this logic properly then you can write the algorithm and flowchart of finding the smallest number as well of your own so i hope this class was helpful for you see you in the next class thank you